Coming back from a life altering injury can be a very long and painstaking process. And that's exactly what Sutherland Springs survivor Chris Workman is dealing with right now. Six months ago, the mass shooting changed his world forever. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker met Workman at one of his recent therapy sessions to see how he's recuperating after being shot in the back almost five months ago. I severed my spine due to a, a gunshot wound, a bullet. Nearly complete severance at the L2 vertebrae, which means most of the nerves have been severed and cut. That horrific event put Workman in a wheelchair. I'm a paraplegic, so uh, without the use of my legs, I have to use my arms a lot to, to move around. Building up endurance, building up um, range of motion, um, strength and also incorporating functional activities into it. That's how Stephanie Cavazos, an occupational therapist at the Reeves Rehabilitation Center within University Health System, describes occupational therapy. Good. Duh. Unlike physical therapy, which is more about muscle function and gaining strength, occupational therapy focuses on activities of daily living. Getting me to do the things that I'm going to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. These functional transfers, you know, into out of bed, onto, um, like into the shower, things like that. At Reeves, therapists work with their patients on their road to recovery by incorporating games to make it less tedious. Instead of saying, hey, I want you to stand with a timer and, you know, for five minutes, I say, hey, go wash your dishes or, hey, you know, go play this game with your grandkids where you're standing up outside and you're having to throw or toss a ball or something like that. Fun and games aside, I asked Workman about his prognosis. His answer? God is big and, you know, uh, if God says that uh, I will walk again, then maybe I will. But until then, he'll keep working with Cavazos to regain control of those nerves and muscles, which for now are hopefully just taking a long rest. Jeremy Baker, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News. And if you'd like more men's health information, you can call that number 210-358-3045, or you can find the rest of our Real Men Wear Gown stories on the website wearthegown.com.